looking at some bills that have been either shot down or sent back to the drawing board by Governor Glenn Youngkin. Virginia's 60-day lawmaking session for 2024 officially ended this weekend. And today we are getting a first glimpse of how Governor Youngkin could weigh in on key issues like voting changes to gun reform and more. Alex Little-Hales joins us in the studio tracking the latest in Virginia state politics. Yeah, Jenny, Governor Glenn Youngkin faced a major deadline last Friday where he needed to act on 80 four pieces of legislation or have them automatically become law. 64 of those passed as written. Another 20 were either sent back for amendments or vetoed entirely. Here's why. In the first sample size of Virginia's lawmaking session, roughly three fourths of the bills put on Governor Youngkin's desk will now become law. Eight bills have been vetoed entirely, like this bill aiming to reinstate Virginia in the Electronic Registration Information Center, known as ERIC, a story that caught regional attention when Virginia's state leadership opted out of the election program. On gun legislation, which was a key issue posed by Virginia Democrats, Youngkin vetoed a bill that would have eliminated firearm transfers from a, quote, prohibited person. For another one dozen bills, Governor Youngkin wants additional language included before his final approval. This includes two landlord-tenant bills, like House Bill 597, which would allow cities and counties to legally hold landlords accountable. In Virginia Beach, Governor Youngkin attached a, quote, reenactment clause that would be needed to update Virginia Beach's voting system through a charter change. A charter change typically is a non-issue. It's non-controversial. The governor cited pending lawsuits against the city's charter change attempts as it works to comply with federal election laws. Advocates, including members of the Virginia Beach NAACP, call the amendments a misguided delay. There's a lawsuit out here uh, that we need to consider before we finally act on this. Well, the charter change, if the governor signed it, it, it would make the lawsuit moot. So again, this is just one sample size of the bills Governor Youngkin will take action on. He has until April 8th to act on all bills passed this lawmaking session. I'm Alex Little-Hales for 13 News Now.